Hello, this is Daniel Moore, back again at MeCP 2018, more interviews. This time around, I'm here with Josh Corey and Miles, hey. Miles Kane. And basically, for those who don't know, they did a documentary on the founders of MeCP um, a couple years back. And basically, why did you guys decide to do a documentary on Troy and Eric to begin with? I think, you know, knowing them since so long and now the fact that they're doing their own festival and it's already five years long and strong and probably going to go for many years after. Mm-hmm. How does that feel for you guys? That's great. I think it's really, we're, we're super happy to be here and excited to see what they're doing and what they're, you know, the, the, the festival and how it's come together. Mm-hmm. And finally, they've been asking us to come down for a while, so it's it's awesome. To, to, and we've been talking about coming down for a while, but um, it's great to be here. When you guys were first starting off your documentary based on that, did you guys um, have any like ideas or any key points you, want, you guys wanted to portray in film? You know, we just really wanted to follow them. So we were like, all right, what, what on earth uh, is the process um, for making these films come to life? You know, because we were just like, you know, we'd, we'd met them before at the festival. We knew about, we'd watched all their films, but we were just like, God, it would be amazing to be a fly on the wall during right. this process. Um, what the film ended up being about, it, at, at its core, is about kind of that, that universal filmmaking process and how difficult it is and how, how, uh, how you have to persevere to make it work. And, and, and in that way, we hope that people are somewhat inspired by the film, even though it's very funny and it's, it's entertaining, but it's also right. like at its core, you know, just about, it's about trying to make something that, that, that is, that's ultimately pretty tough to make. Right. Yeah, we, we reached out to Eric and Troy. And how did what, what was their first reaction? I think Eric said we'll get back to you in a while, and then he waited like two years, <laughs> and then like two years later, I think I think because I think we actually when we were made our, our prior film, we are wizards. I think we had originally pitched this to them around 2008, and right. it took it took them until about 2010 to, before they were like, hey, we're actually we're making this movie now. So I remember we were just reminiscing about our first our first trip here, and it was like. Just really fun and bizarre, and actually that first trip, even though we did end up shooting a lot with them, right? A lot of those scenes did end up making it into the film. Like okay. when we went to the Salt Flats, that's when they were making their spacesuits. That's when I think the, the there was that three that, that that scene where the the three or four ladies came and they were in the spaceship. So a lot of those scenes in that first long weekend actually made it into the film, which is cool because that's right. you know. Usually the first shoot's kind of just like a test shoot, but we, we ended up doing a lot, and, and it made the film, which is great. Right. Has got any footage of, like, the first music or no? No. We weren't here for that. Oh, right, right. So, yeah, and have been enjoying it so far? It's great. It's great. It's great to see them do it. You know, it's yeah. great to see them in action, and right. they look like, I mean, we also, because we ran a festival, right. we know how hard, how hard it is, so... It's 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 tough to see them stressed out because we like them so much, but but it's coming together and you know they're having fun, so that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's all fun, and yeah, you definitely do see their passion behind the uh, film festival and yeah. whatnot. And you know, you guys ran your own festival, it, um, kind of. Uh, you guys still run it, or no, no, it was just for four years. So uh-huh. ended in 2006. We actually kind of ended it to get back into pursuing filmmaking uh-huh. as a sort of a nice you know, thing. So yeah. And what type of films did you guys show in that festival? All types, all types, but it was like, you know, underground work, so, you know, a lot of, like, experimental stuff, documentary nice. stuff, um, archive, a lot of Tom Sitter's work. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Troy and Eric's strangely kind of fit in, in, in a strange way, because it's, it's so unique and strange, but, again, full of, like, the amount of detail and effort right. that they clearly put in is, is sort of... Shocking, so yeah. And the documentary's title is um, Journey to Planet X. How did you guys kind of come up with that title? Well, the, the, the name of the film that they're, they're filming right. is called Planet X. Right. What's called Planet X? Yeah, it has two different names, but the title had been Planet X, right. and obviously for us, we thought that was the coolest name in terms of building that into our title. Right. right. Yeah, it's sort of straightforward, but Journey to Planet X is what it is. Journey to Planet X Part 2, The Frozen Moon, didn't have the same ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's been your favorite experience so, thus far in the film as well as a home? Right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, 
what well, was obviously for us, it was just that like, the experience of being able to share Planet X, during right. the journey of Planet X with Troy and Eric and, and the crew were here, and it was a really it was a fun night, and that was actually an awesome right. screening. A lot of people were laughing, and it was really fun. And so that was great for us, but, but it, in addition to that, we've been really impressed with uh, the, the final day today, the closing day, the films, the venue, the awards ceremony is coming up. So we're looking forward to, you know, I mean, we're only halfway through it, but right. it's been great. Is there any film that stood out to you or that you would say to thus far? Or? Um, we just, uh, well, that's a good question. We just watched um, Chris and Rachel's film, which was called Steam. Um, no, no, what the hell is it called? Steam. 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 I should look that up, uh, whatever it's called. We just watched it. <laughs> 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 a steam wreck. Steam Rack. Actually, I have the pen right here. Steam Rack. It's called Steam Rack. Steam Rack. I thought it was great. Right. It was really cool because we've been hanging out with them all week and, and it, it was, you know, it's always nice to, at film festivals, you meet filmmakers and, right. I mean, you hope you like them, whatever, yeah, but but it, it's always nice when you when you, when you get to, to meet them and and, and, and then and experience their journey on screen. And, and, Appreciate it. Yeah. Right. And basically, last question, if given the opportunity, and given the fact that you are, guys are friends with Troy and Aaron, so... And this, you guys better, and they're going to watch this properly, so choose your answer carefully. Give, uh, given, given the fact that you guys are your fifth year and that you're freshmen, would you guys come back here again at MECP uh, next year? Probably not. No! <laughs> Troy, I don't know. <laughs> no, we'd love to. It's, it's great. I mean, yeah, we're, that's, we wish we had gotten here sooner, but, but it's awesome to be here, and it, it's, you know, it's great to see these guys, and, and we'll, we hope we'll come back uh, not only for the film festival, but when Troy and Eric finish Temple of Joy, which must be finished. Finish the goddamn movie. <laughs> finish Troy. <laughs> so, yeah. Definitely answers that you guys would love to come back. Yeah, totally. Um, so, I mean, thank you for giving me your time. Uh, it was yeah. cool meeting you too. Yeah. And you know, you got your films. The film, you guys, Journey to Planet X was great, by the way. Um, I don't know if I said that earlier, but that's no, I liked cool. it. Um, that's great meeting you guys. And again, thank you for giving me your time. And that's basically it for this interview. Um, you know, stay tuned for future interviews. This is Daniel Mart with Miles Kane and Josh Corey. Thanks. Signing off.